Hello everybody, this is Juntas. Today we're going to be taking a look at D2 stat calculator and here it's uh, So it's just gonna be like a software video, not that much uh, content, but for people who might um, yeah need to know about this, it's, this could be a pretty good help. So uh, actually this is also like a cry for help. Um, I had this program D2 stat calculator for ages and I simply cannot find it uh, online anymore. You can spend maybe an hour googling and you still don't find it. Um, I don't know why it's uh, you know gone from the internet or Google or whatever because it's really really great. So you can see up here at Jesus Delclay we got all the classes and then the character level. So if you need to see base stats of a character, say you want to see a necromancer at level, let's try 85, 86, there you go. So you can see all the base stats, you can see how many skill points you gained and how many stat points you gained. Uh, you can also see how many you added if you're going to be doing that. Um, and then the most important I would say is just basically just seeing a uh, base stats of a character You can just go back here to level 1 again and you can see the base stats at level 1 And then um, out here you're just gonna be able to see all the You know all the quest random and um, especially the golden bird for more life uh, is pretty fun um, This is a pretty good program if you kind of know where to download this uh, do feel free to let me know because this very program here has helped me out quite a bit it uh, it's also a way to kind of you know make legit characters with hear it if you mess around with the stats too much and you just wanna you know retrace your steps and make sure you haven't actually made a mistake when you uh, try to make it all legit this build here so that's it um, pretty simple program here but I wanted to also make the video just a bit longer so we're going to be making a spaz uh, you know insane DMB on here it. Uh, a lot of people might want to kind of know how to make custom items that are, you know, not easily imported or anything like that. So I couldn't really find a better, you know, grained matron bow. I think this one is one of the better ones that has been rolled in Diablo 2. Uh, it's actually better than the bow that I showed off in my last video as well for the Amazon. And you, we're gonna be trying to make this one. And yeah, let's just see if we can do this one. Also, uh, Spaz, if you don't know him, he is probably one of the richest on Europe, uh, JSP. He has a lot of crazy items. I don't know if he's still that active, but god damn, he has had a lot of insane items through the years. So I'm in here at Hero Editor. I will try to, you know, leave the links uh, for download and whatnot in the description below. Um, you just want to load up a character that you already know, you played around with, or just a new character. And once you have found the character you want to, you know, make the item on, you're just gonna click extras. And so this tab here opens here, it's uh, extras, it's named. And it's just a, you know, way to kind of, yeah, do all sorts of edits on items. But what we are looking for is the item slash character create. So we are gonna be clicking on all items. And in here you can find all bases for every single item. You can also find like gems, uh, quest items, um, yeah, runes and whatnot. It, it's kind of... Yeah, we don't need to know about this, but we will go into Waveprints and then we will try to go into Amazon Bows and then you can see here we got all, everything from the stack bow, which I guess drops already at normal difficulty and then all the way to the grain matron bow and then up here you can see something like the base damage, uh, the requirements to equip it uh, also if it's a part of a set item and so forth so we are just gonna be saving this one then we can close it and then right down here we got the Grand Matron bow ready to be picked up and we're just gonna drag it over. And so we have our base ready, so we're gonna be right clicking on it and then going to specific editing functions. In here you're gonna be finding all sorts of ways that you can edit the item, but we are looking for is, uh, yeah, we're gonna fix up the item just for a little bit, I think it was, um, yeah, we can personalize the names and stuff if you want to do that. We can add socketed sneer and whatnot, but we are not really gonna need that. And once you right click on the item, we're gonna go into uh, basics 2 it's named, and then find the ways to change the item's quality. So right now it's just a white base item, but we want to change that to a rare. And once we do that, we're just gonna hit save, just in case. So now it's a rare base with no stats on. Then down here we can find the name in rare or crafted. So ideally it would be named the uh, demon sting or whatever it's called. His mouse cursor is in the way, but we can try to give it a cool name, something like a uh, beast. And uh, let's see, uh, let's call it 
Beast Fang. That sounds pretty good, I guess. <laughs> so that's the name. It's gonna be named uh, Beast Fang Grand Matron Bow. And that's it for kind of the basics of it. So now we have a, you know, a starting point. So now we need to change the stats. That's pretty simple. So we are gonna go into, not there, that's the set magic. We are gonna go into magic and we're gonna go into magic attribute. And then we just have to plot in all the stats, you know, the faster attack speed uh, is already there. You don't have to worry about that. But the 20% increased attack speed needs to be added and so forth. So pretty simple. We are simply just gonna start at attack and we can see that it has uh, 371 attack rating. So we're gonna be adding 371 attack rating. Just gonna hit uh, save on that. And then I think we can find the, let's see, the damage type. That could be a fun little one. It's always kind of hard to find the, you know, all the items here. Uh, that can be quite a bit of a messy thing going on sometimes to find all the little stats that can hide for you. But we find the enhanced damage now, so that's 485. And then let's see the next one. I think the attack one, poison damage. Let's just find cold damage. Oh yeah, it was in cold damage. There you go. Then the length is a bit of a problematic thing because uh, length is kind of how long time the freeze duration would be in the game. I try not to mess around with these values too much. It can be a bit, uh, yeah, confusing uh, the length duration because it's something like, um, you know, it's 255 uh, cold length night right now. And you don't really know what that is in games. So test around if you find that the freeze effect is too overpowered right now. But we'll just go with uh, one minimum and three max cold damage. And so let's find the 20% increased attack speed. So it's under speed and then it's going to be increased attack speed. And we're just gonna hit 20 on that one. And so let's do the plus two to crossbow skills. This one is always a bit messy because there's so many uh, ways that you can, you know, figure around with skills. Uh, yeah, it's a bit complicated, but I believe this time it's on the, um, let's have a look. Uh, I have to actually think about this one. I think it's class skill level. No, it's not, that's not plus two. That's plus two to all. It's actually skill levels, skill tap levels. There you go. This can be quite confusing actually to find out when you are messing around with it. And then the 15 to maximum damage, I believe is under attack and then two handed minimum to max damage. This has always been a bit messy for me to kind of understand, but I believe this is the correct way to, you know, do max damage on an item. Uh, in this case, it's a two handed uh, bow that I'm making. So I'm just gonna hit 15. A minimum 15 and minimum uh, max 15 and I think that's it for the stats so let's have a look so this seems about correct uh, one thing I also need to change I don't know why it always does that I need to change the durability that's just like a thing it always does when you uh, yeah import an item from the tab so I believe bows and one that have no durability at all so I'm just gonna you know, uh, change it to like, yeah, you can actually, you know, it's stupid. You want to remove the indestructible, right? But it has no durability anyway. You know, a bow can't break as, as far as I know. So I'm just going to hit like, let's say 66 durability. That's a lot for on wave and anyways. And I'm just going to live with it being, you know, not completely legit because actually bows don't have durability, at least as far as I know uh, or remember. But yeah, that's it. The bow is completely done, so let's load up in in game and see how it fares. Also, maybe just compare it to like a wind force for maximum damage or something like fun like that. And there you go. This is pretty much spot on. I just messed up the minimum instead of being maximum damage because that's that has always been a bit confusing when I try to make it in game. But you can see this is the exact same stats, just those uh, damage being a little switched around. Anywho. Um, I think uh, I should just kind of, uh, yeah, see how this bell pose fares, because apparently this is one of the best rolled uh, ones in Diablo 2 ever, and we can maybe try to compare it to Wind Force or something fun like that. So I'm gonna guess here that the Beast Fang Grain Matron bow here is gonna be the better one, but we will see. Wind Force has always been known for having an insane high amount of uh, maximum damage and whatnot. It's really just the damage bow in Diablo 2. It might not have the great stats, but it has a lot of damage. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's not even a competition. It's funny. Um, 
The minimum damage is obviously very good on this one. It's just, yeah, it's just gonna win in that category for sure. But the maximum damage is just not even a comparison. Oh, I forgot to also put guided error on. So you can see both guided error now and multiple shot. It's absolutely just no competition. It's fun to see that even such a great bow here with that much enhanced damage and whatnot can compete with uh, wind force uh, damage. But yeah, this uh, bow here has always just been the king of damage. Um, yeah, it's really, really crazy. But for good measurement, we will also just do faith. So these are much more closer to each other, as you can see. Uh, this is the, yeah, the rare ones. This uh, faith has 3.1 on multiple shot, and this one has 2.9. So uh, faith is uh, quite a bit stronger than uh, even such a great item like this. So that was pretty much it. Don't need to make it that much longer than that. Pretty fun to kind of experiment with here to, you know, try to make some really, you know, harder items to make. Um, I did two guys before in here is and I wanted to kind of just update this one. But also again, uh, if you know where to download that D2 stats calculator, the app that I showed in the beginning of the video, do let me know because I really cannot find a download link for it any longer. And it's such a great program. Uh, there are skill calculators, you know, for the normal skills in Diablo 2, where you can plan out skills. But they're not really a program where you can, uh, you know, find all the stats. Like, say, if you if you don't want to respec with tokens all the time, uh, and you want to plan out stats, even like uh, bugging with strength, you know, so you don't have to spend that much strength when equipping items and whatnot, that program can help out a lot. But yeah, if you know about it, do let me know, because I really cannot find it any longer. Anywho, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and have a good one.